I have my pages sewn around. I have finished all of them up and then I have gone ahead and put my fabric right here to hinge them together. So I've got all of them hinged and I ended up with eight sheets or eight pages and then of course I have all of my pockets here in the end that we can do things with. I just put them in line like in order like I want. This is going to be my front page of course and hmm I'm just trying to okay we're just gonna lay those down there now all I did for this fabric is I just put my pieces bottom to bottom and then I just sewed right down through there you could do yours with um, another piece of paper if you wanted to and just glue it right there and that would be your hinge so when I sew these in I'll just go right through there and that's my hinge so there are those now I'm gonna on the front I'm gonna use a music sheet I think I want to use this side I think let's see yeah I want to use this side and then I'm gonna use one of our printables and I'm gonna collage this on this music sheet so I'm just trying to figure out I think I want to tear it and collage it down so I'm just kind of trying to figure out how I want to tear it. So I'm going to do my fussy tearing. <laughs> uh, let's see. It's a little bird. And I may end up putting something else on here too. Okay. So I know that it's they're not going to be too wide. Now, I want my, let's see, I'm trying to figure out how I want to put this, how I want to orientate this. Yeah, I think I want that to wrap like that. So that would be, nope, I want it to wrap like this. So that would be the front cover, and then it would wrap around like that. That's how I want to do it. Okay. I just had to get myself straightened out here. So we're going to tear this as well. This is in our last uh, digital, and it is called Paris Nights. going to put a little bit of ink on this. I, I have done this before and it looks good so we'll see what it looks like this time. And the ink will probably uh, smear just a little bit when I do the collaging on here but that doesn't bother me at all. If you didn't want it to uh, smear you could do a permanent ink and it wouldn't it wouldn't smear at all. So I'm going to start back about right there. Then I want my little bird and all of that on the back side. So I'm just going to tear down through here. I like those bricks, so I think I'll leave those. I'm just... Yeah, that will work right there. So I'm going to tear this on off a little bit more. And then we'll tear this. And, hmm, I really don't want that, so I guess I'll tear that off too, right there. I like him singing to the moon, so I want to kind of leave the moon on there. So let's see, that should work right there. I'm going to put my page back up here and look at it again. Yeah, 
that'll work. Okay. Alright, I'm going to ink on this just a little. There we go. I think we will. Okay, so let's grab out our matte medium and our brush. Then we will put this down. And I like it. Oh, come on now. There we go, right there. And then I'm just going to go around the edges. And see how that um, ink, it kind of smears out? I like that look. If you don't like that look, you can use a permanent ink on there and let it dry, and then it won't do that. But I think that just makes it look even more vintage, so it doesn't bother me. Now this is printed on regular copy paper, this top right here. So it's not very thick and that makes it easier to collage like that. So I'm gonna dry this and then we'll come back and see if we need to put another coat on there. So I have that dried, and then I've just taken a piece of our thin chipboard. This is like a heavy cardstock thin chipboard, and I just cut it down to fit these. All I did was just laid it, laid one there, and flipped it over just to make sure that I had the right size. I didn't measure anything. And then I'm going to lay it in here and just kind of fold it over because I want to see... See where I need to put it on there. That looks good right there. I think I'll get all of this on the front and that's what I want. So I'm going to glue this down. And then I'm going to glue this side. And I'm not even gluing the front part of it since that is just book page because I don't want this, the glue to show through. I could have probably used something else, but I think this is going to be fine. You said, you noticed that I said, I think. This is going to be fine. This is a first. And I'm just going to clip these edges back a little bit so I can fold this over and it won't be too bulky. And this is not the way that you cut corners, but this is the way that I'm cutting corners today. Just for today. This is a fly by the seat of our pants project. Okay. 
Okay. And we will fold that one up. And I'm going to look at the front. Oh, yeah. I like that. So this is one of those projects that you just create and make up as you go. Because I've not done one like this before. So we just make it up as we go along. go. Alright, I'm going to make sure that this is all pressed down really well. Now, I am going to get my scoreboard out, and I'm going to try to score this in the center, if I can find the center. All right, it's nine and a quarter, so that would be uh, four and five-eighths, is that right? I hope, four and five-eighths. And this is pretty thick, so I'm just going to go over it a few times. And we'll see if that works. Well, I think four and five eighths was the center of that. Look at there. Okay. Now I'm going to reinforce the score line. I like that. I like that cover. Okay. Then we need to cover the inside with something. So what are we going to use? Um, hmm. Don't know. What am I going to use? You know, this is a piece of book page that one of you sent to me. I might just put that in there. That's pretty. Let's just do that. And I'm, I'm even going to leave those little pieces there where it was torn out. I'm going to leave that on there too. That is the right size right there. So we will glue that down to the inside. I think that's pretty. And I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. It dries quick and I know it will glue all of these little pieces down here. I'm just going to go down each one of them. And this is a pretty thick music page, so I don't think it's going to be a problem with me putting the glue all over it. I don't think we're going to have an issue with that. Did I even put that halfway straight? It's straight enough. Very 
there we go and then we can go ahead and well you really need to wait till this dries before you start bending on it till the glue dries but I'm very impatient I like to I like to get things done so I'm gonna bend and I may regret it I may have some issues here but we'll see let's see if we've got some ruffles if we have a few I'm not gonna stress over it yeah we have a few ruffles in there but I'm not gonna stress no biggie once we get all of our pages in there and all of that it's gonna be fine that's just probably where I didn't get enough glue right down in there I'm going to put a little bit more glue right here because that's trying to come up. There we go. Now, if you've got a little bubble like that that you know that you didn't put enough glue under, which I didn't, this is what I do. I split that crease where it bubbles up like that. I take my glue, run my little tip up under there on both sides, then I press it down. You can't see where I cut it, and it presses that little bubble down. So if I have another, like I have a little bit of one right there, there again I just take my knife and I split that just a little just enough to get my little fine tip in there squirt some glue in and then take my towel over it there we go let's see if we got anywhere else nope I think everywhere else looks good So there we go we have our cover and now these are going to sit in there just like this okay I'm gonna show you a boo-boo I didn't make my cover big enough because I didn't consider how thick these are so this is what we're gonna do I am going to split my cover we're gonna fix it so I'm gonna split my cover right down through here and I'm probably gonna have to get my guillotine cutter to do this okay we're gonna drag out the big guns and split this I'm just gonna try to mark where we're gonna need to split We need to split it right there. There we go. Okay, now we have two equal pieces there. Now I can go back and if I need to I can put glue under here. I think I'll squirt a little glue under here. You guys are seeing what I do when I just sit down to create a project and I don't get it right the first time. I usually find a way to fix it because I don't want to throw it throw the parts away. So I just come up with a way to remedy it. Okay, that's the front. There's the back. No, that's the front and that's the back. Okay. 
Now what we need is we need a spine piece that is going to allow us to put these little pieces in there. So my spine piece needs to be about that size. Now I can do lots of different spine pieces. I can do another piece of the lightweight chipboard or I can do some of the material that we have. I'd have to do a wider piece, but we can do that. Or I can do some lace. Oh, since you guys have given me so much lace. Okay. This one is pretty thick. Oh, I like that one. I think we will do it with that. Oh, I like that. I'm not sure who gave me this, but thank you so much. You have saved the mini album. All right. Now, let's see. And I'm having to think as I go through, so. All right, I'm just going to make sure all of these are at the bottom. Lay those right there. Then I want to put, I'm probably going to put a piece of this on the inside and the outside. So I'm going to put one right there. I'm going to close this glue up. And I'm going to grab my Fabri-Tac. Grab my glue thing here, glue mat. Okay, I'm going to pull that over about right like that. Press that down, let me look at it. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, where's my little tool? Now, I was told that Dollar Tree has some things that look similar to this. They're silicone. That's what this is. It's silicone. And they're in the makeup section. So if you have a Dollar Tree, you might go check that out to get one of those. Don't tell my doc I'm using the big scissors. There we go. Okay. Now... We want to put the back on, or the front on. Okay, I'm just going to lay those sheets, or those pages, in there so that I will know about where to glue this. So, then we're going to put some of this down here. I like that. All right, I'm going to open it up. Then I can either do lace on the inside or I can do the fabric. And I think I'm just going to do another piece of lace right there. And that will hold it. Yes, like that. You know, I didn't check to see if I had that front piece of lace the right side out. Hopefully I did. We may have to put another one on there if we don't. Okay. 
okay and yes I do okay now I do want to stitch down through here but I'm gonna have to wait just a little bit and let this glue dry all right we have stitched all the way around this I just did a zigzag stitch and then I've stitched this on that just makes everything nice and strong and I think what I'm gonna do instead of stitching this in right now I'm gonna glue these in and then when they dry I'll come back later and I'll stitch everything into the spine part but I think I can just press them down enough on that lace and since it'll be gluing material to material I should be able to press them right in there just like that and then just glue these down and then when they dry well I'll open them up and go through here with a little stitch just to reinforce everything so that's how I'm gonna put these in there so the first thing I'm gonna do is just make sure I get all of them as even as possible and then I'm gonna put this glue on here And this is Fabri-Tac. It's made for gluing fabric to fabric. Okay, I'm going to try not to let it run down in there too much because I don't want my pages glued together. And then I'm just going to try to center it up from one end to the other. And let's see, about a quarter. That looks about right right there. And I'm going to pull my covers up and just make sure that those are pressed down in there really well. A new way of binding and this is just because I messed up on my binding system so but I think this is gonna work fine and then like I said I can come back and put a little stitch down through there I may even come back and put a little piece of lace in there and stitch that in too so these look like they're gluing in pretty well Let's see, that one moved. Let's put a little bit more glue right in there. Mm, this glue kills my thumb. There we go. Make sure that I get it the right way up. And we'll put it right in there. Like that. Okay. I'm going to clip this together until all of these dry really well. and then I'll stitch it and I'll come back and I'll put some photos at the beginning and the end of this video. So all I'm doing is just making sure that they're all pressed down in there this way. They're all even. And then I'm going to clip them in on this end. If I can find my clips, hold on. Okay, we're just going to clip, put three clips on this until all of that glue dries there we go cute okay now we can do a little bit more to the front if we want to okay since we've got a lot of material in this I may just come back with one of my little material words and put on here that one says treasure hmm. let's see no don't want that we could do a little hummingbird going down to the flowers oh I like this one that says bloom let's do that bloom and then a little hummingbird going down toward the flowers and and if you want to know 
how we did these. This is just stamped on some of that same material. It's just that cotton material that we did the spines of the pages out of. And I just stamped on those and I have a video for that. I'm going to ink that just a tiny bit. It just helps separate it from the back. And then we'll glue this down. See, I think I want to glue it right there. Okay, and then I'm going to trim out around my little bird here just a tiny bit. Not all the way, just taking some of that white off or that, it's not really white, it's a cream color. Just so the bird will show a little bit better. And I've moved, well, I didn't act, I didn't mean to move my camera, but I accidentally moved my camera, bumping it this morning, and I've tried to position it back, and I hope it's back in the right spot. I keep trying to look up to make sure I'm still in frame. Okay, we'll put our little bird right there, coming into the flowers. It's got to get a drink. Okay, so we've got Bloom, we've got the little birdie, and I still want to put something else on there. I feel like it needs something. So what do we think? We can always put some of this. Oof, I can't believe I've got so much of this now. Thank you so much, the person who sent this to me. This bling makes me happy. All right, so where can we put some bling? What about right there? Let me look at that. Oh, that looks okay. Um, do you still feel like it needs something? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think once we put this down, I think that's going to be enough on the front. We've got quite a bit going on there. So I don't think we're going to need to put anything else. If I do, I'll put it on and then I'll make sure I get pictures of it. So that is kind of, I know my lights are pretty bright right there. But that's kind of how the front looks. And I like that. I am going to ink around the edges just because I like that look and it kind of finishes it off since I've got ink in here. But there again, that's not something that you have to do. You don't have to even sew this. You can do this with just glue. But I just think that's pretty. Pretty, pretty. And I'm not going to do any more to the back because I don't usually do a lot to the back of my mini albums. All right, that is going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you'll give this a try. If you do, make sure that you go over to our Facebook page and you share all of your projects over there. We have got a Facebook page that is linked below, and you're welcome to share any of your projects over there that you make. Uh, it doesn't matter if I've made them or not. You're welcome to share your projects over there. We just love to see what you're up to and what you're doing. All right, we will talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a little longer video, it being, <clears throat> it being two parts. But, you know, sometimes that's the way it has to be when you do some a project like this that you haven't done before. <laughs> you kind of make it up as you go along. All right, we will talk to you guys later.